the best killer that ever was, the patriarch of the family, the head of the house. Don't take him for granted because he is the one leading the show in his own special way. That is Grandpa, ladies and gentlemen, the head of the household himself. The family likes to treat him every once in a while to a bottle of blood to keep him going. Now, I actually had a hard time trying to make a video on this one because most of you already know who Grandpa is and you already know what his blood does. But for those that don't know, you have to feed Grandpa blood in the middle of a match to get his perks activated to level him up. And one thing that he does, I don't know if he does anything else, but we do know that one of the main things that he does is he lets everybody know where the survivors are because Grandpa knows every creak, crack, snap, groan of the house or wherever he's at, his senses just get keener and keener. Don't let his physical form fool you. The more Grandpa is leveled up, the harder the time the victims are going to have to escape because grandpa is letting the rest of the family know exactly what's going on. So the blood that you're going to be feeding grandpa, we don't know all the ways you get blood, but just some of the ways is you I think you find them around the house in various places and by hitting victims, you will get blood and you put it into a bottle and you go feed it to grandpa to help locate victims. Now also we have some blood spatter on Leatherface here, so uh, we don't know how that happened, but it looks to be dynamic. So maybe when you're either performing a kill or hitting a survivor, there will be blood spatter from other characters onto the killer in, in what seems to be a dynamic way rather than just throwing on a decal onto the body, you know, a little injury decal, a swap of assets. But I don't want to comment too much on that because I just don't know. We haven't played the game. And speaking about playing the game, just to close this out real quick, there is a technical test. Some of you might like to call it a beta, but it is a technical test. It is coming up soon. We don't know the exact date. Some information about it is it will be free to the public, but will have a limited amount of seats. Go wishlist the game on Steam. Make sure you're following the Texas Chainsaw Twitter. There is no NDA on the technical test. Players can stream, create, and upload content, and it will be available via Steam PC only. Now this screenshot is in the living room of the family house and man oh man the lighting is just looking really good. Look at all the detail around the room. I am loving this. It's dimly lit, has that look, there's stains on the wall. Like even just looking at this it looks like it has a dingy smell inside the house because of all the dead things in there. Sumo is just killing it with the environmental design. Another quick thing to notice is that Leatherface's blood total has been knocked down from 100 to 80. Now we could have been looking at a different Leatherface build from past videos and screenshots because the development of the game is ever changing. They might have reduced him about 20 points to have a total of 80 blood to carry because, you know, Leatherface is very strong. He is OP. He's probably not going to harvest as much blood as the others. And there you have it, you guys. Grandpa, the best that ever was. Don't forget to feed Grandpa the blood. He needs a lot of love, too, just like the rest of the family. I will see you guys next time in the next screenshot or video or even the technical test. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.